Welcome to part 6 of this series. Um, this is Lu Kiangte from RealTX Lite. Now it's time to jump from Blender and explore different world to After Effects. If this is the first time you've ever opened After Effects, it's okay. We're not gonna do something crazy this time. So, open After Effects. And this is what we're trying to get in this part. Let's jump straight into the point. Hover your mouse uh, in this area. Make sure you're in this project tab. Double click here and locate your footage. This footage will be available in the description. Now drag and drop in this compositing icon. Uh, this will create new compositing windows so that we can start our keying process. You will need one frame from our 3D scene. So render one steel frame and bring it here. The first effect that we're going to use in this footage is key light. So just type key here in the effects and preset search box. Drag and drop in this footage. Click on this eyedropper icon and select the middle green area, which is not too dark and too bright. Change the view from final to intermediate. This is because the final result always changes the color and I don't want that. I want to have manual control over the color. So when I play this back, we can see that there's a, there's a bit of noise in the dark area. Uh, we'll remove that as much as we can, but it's impossible to remove all the noise because our camera captures some degree of noise in the footage itself. But don't worry about that. Um, when we add the background, it will blend with it and the noise seems like it's not there anymore. So let's drag our background and add it below this footage. It's a bit small, so let's scale this up by hitting S on your keyboard and adjust to something that looks more relative size. Now we're going to add one more effect, which is advanced spill suppressor. Drag it below this key light. Um, this will eliminate the green spill to the entire footage. Let's play back the whole footage. As we can see right away that the footage and the CG blends pretty good already. All we have to do is to make uh, the transparent part uh, a bit more intense. To do that, expand the key light option, go to screen matte, adjust the clip black to something higher. So what this one does is it makes the dark pixel more transparent. If you keep on increasing these values, then the, all the shadow and the dark pixel will become transparent. Adjust the white part as well. It works in reverse to the clip, uh, clip black function. It makes the bright pixel opaque. There's no, uh, there's no magic number for this value. This will vary uh, all over your footage. So uh, just remember the concept and make an adjustment based on that. When I play this back again, uh, then we can see some noise on the shadow. But once we enable the background, it disappear. Not completely, but it's hard to notice that. That's why you need this one frame. Now all we have to do is to, to mask out all this unwanted stuff. Oh, by the way, one thing. If your After Effects crash for no reason, just hit the subscribe button and that fix the problem sometimes. Okay, cool. Select this icon and draw a mask around everything that you don't want to include in, this, uh, in the final footage. Once you've done that, hit M and change the operation from Add to Subtract. So this will subtract everything uh, that inside this mask. We don't want this very sharp cutoff, so hit F to increase this value. I'm going to quickly color correct our subject uh, by using Lumetri here in the effects tab. Simply adjust the temperature and the tint uh, to get the same looks as the background. When I play this back once more, we see there's just a tiny, tiny noise there. But I think it's good enough for now. If you see a lot of noise there, readjust, the, readjust your screen matte settings. Now I'm going to remove these wrinkles. Simply take the mask tools and draw a mask around this and subtract from the footage. Adjust the feather, readjust the mask till you are happy with it. I can see there's a bit of uh, green color here in his hair. So I pull this advanced spill suppressor below this lumetri color. This will make sure that there's no green spill all over our footage, which is exactly what we want. I see some wrinkles here, so I'll quickly remove that as well. Since there's a little bit of movement there, I have to animate the mask path. So just hit this stopwatch uh, to key the path and adjust your mask whenever there's a movement. Now let's hide the background and export this key footage. Press Ctrl M, uh, click on this lossless text and, and change the format from AVI to PNG sequence. This is because Blender prefers image sequence and set the channel from RGB to RGB plus alpha and choose where you want to render this out 
and hit render. So that's it for this uh, keying part. Uh, we're going to import our key out footage and add it to our virtual scene in the next part and see how well it blends with the CG. So we're almost there. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel um, to see more of uh, VFX, awesome VFX stuff. Um, okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next part. Bye-bye.